And so in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to dive into the storyboard wizard. With raw shorts, there are several ways of creating videos. You can use either a text to video workflow, you can select from a pre-made template, or with the storyboard wizard, what you can do is you can select a type of video that you'd like to create. So for instance, it would either be business or internal communication or for education. And within those categories, you have different types of videos, such as meeting related, reports related, management related. Under business, you have sales and marketing, explainer video. And each one of these presents a storyboard for that particular story. So in the case of an explainer video, the storyboard is broken down into the following scenes. Add an intro, make a statement, describe a problem, present a solution. So when you click on any one of these, it will show you the scenes that we have for that particular topic. So for an intro, you have a lot of scenes here that say hello or meet Bob um, or introducing a character. If you're describing a problem, then we can see we have a lot of scenes here that are related to inserting a problem statement, etc. So if we look at the format for internal communications under meeting related, for instance, we'll have add an intro, make a statement, recap, and add a call to action or action items. So for this tutorial, let's create an explainer video using the storyboard wizard. So let's go ahead and fill out this storyboard. We'll go with meet Bob there, then make a statement. Okay then describe a problem, then present a solution, then maybe highlight some of the benefits or talk about how the solution works. Then we'll add a call to action and an outro, problem solved. Now we're going to launch the builder to take a look at how the video is shaping up so far. So once the builder loads, just hit play so you can see the preview. Okay, so then here's your opening scene, meets Bob. Here's your statement scene. Keep in mind, all of this text can be edited once you've loaded the builder. Uh, here's your problem statement. Next, we'll go into the solution. You could change this text to put in what your company does over here. Here we can discuss some of the benefits in greater detail. On the next scene, we've got our call to action over here. Sign up now, enter your website, you can customize this text, and then your outro scene, problem solved. So once you've built your outline, you can then go into all the individual scenes and then all you really need to do is swap out the text for your text. So um, you can also make changes to the fonts if you want, um, colors, and icons. If it's not the right fit, let's go for And that, in a nutshell, is how the scene wizard works. My apologies, I called it the storyboard wizard earlier. This is actually the scene wizard. As with all the other tools here at Raw Shorts, it's designed to help speed up the video creation time. In this case, it's done by being able to pre-select relevant scenes for a particular story uh, so that when you launch the builder, you already have a solid foundation uh, for your video. So we'll be posting more tips and tricks on a regular basis. So remember to check our blog or subscribe to our newsletter for those updates. Thanks.